Hey everybody, welcome to Kids Town Live. I'm Becky Santini. I'm the Children's Ministry Director at Covenant Community Church. And I'm coming to you today from my kitchen because we've got some kitchen stuff that we're doing today. Um, something that you could do at home too when you <clears throat> have the supplies, you can do this at home. But um, we're still in the book of Matthew and I wanted to read to you the scripture um, from Matthew chapter 14, verses 13 through 21. And this is the story of when Jesus feeds the 5,000. And this is, this is a story you've heard before, but listen as I read to you. When Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place. Hearing of this, the crowds followed him on foot from the towns. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and he healed their sick. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, this is a remote place and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. We have only five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Bring them here to me, he said. And he directed the people to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven. He gave thanks and he broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate and were satisfied and the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was about 5,000 5, men besides women and children. So that's something pretty awesome and unexpected that Jesus did. Um, when the disciples handed out the bread and fish, they never ran out. There was over 5,000 people there, five loaves of bread and two fish. And because of Jesus' blessing on that, they were able to feed all the people. So we are going to see if we can do something similar with a candy bar. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my helpers in here and we'll get set up. And um, we're going to try and, and make a miracle happen with our candy bar. All right, guys, we're back. I have um, Nina. And I have Joey, and they're going to be our helpers today. And we're going to see what we can do with this chocolate bar. Okay, they're, <laughs> they're going to have a hard time playing fair and um, sharing. <laughs> You've noticed Nina has everything in front of her right now. And I only so, have a knife. So, Joey, what I need for you to do is, um, can you take this? Yes. This, show everybody what you have. Candy. He has a candy bar template. It's, it, it's supposed to look like a Hershey bar. Okay, and Joey, what I need you to do is cut out around the dark lines on that. Okay, so Joey's going to cut that template so out right now. So he needs to cut the candy bar in half too. So right now he's going to cut on the outside of the candy bar template. Okay. Okay. He's doing a very nice job taking his time. And if you guys want one of these at home, let me know and I'll send you a template home so you can do this at home too. All right, Nina, would you throw away the garbage, please? And then Joey's gonna go ahead and cut along that diagonal line. If I can reach. And now we have two pieces. Can you show them the two pieces? Okay, just like that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is um, Nina is going to unwrap the chocolate bar without breaking it. You got to unwrap it and then you're going to set it on the plate. I don't know if I can do that. You Stop. can't unwrap it without um, without <laughs> breaking it? Oh my. I don't think I've ever seen someone have so much trouble opening a chocolate bar. <laughs> Wowza. There we go. Thank All you. All right. So you're going to lay that chocolate bar 
on the plate. Oops. Don't I break got it. A golden ticket. Okay. So now, what I need you to do is take one of those pieces that Joey cut out and lay it on the end of your candy bar. Okay. Okay. It needs to line up with your candy bar, kind of, so all the lines line up and everything. And go. I'm going to pick up my camera so it might get wobbly, guys. And I'm going to walk over here so we can see what's happening. Wobble, wobble. Okay, so here we have the candy bar. We've placed half of that. Joey, go ahead and place the other half on there. Okay. It fits. So just like that, you guys see it's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that piece off, okay? And we're going to go ahead and very carefully, in a sawing motion, right at the edge like you're following a template you're going to cut your candy bar in half without breaking the pieces hopefully you just want to cut I it in half on that line the pieces so lucky for them i have oh, there you go it's pretty close uh, i feel like it's pretty close it's pretty close, See, but we're gonna need back to together go like uh, Joey. I'm gonna have yeah. you try that now. Okay, Joey's gonna try this now. Um, we're gonna remove this one, <gasps> and we're gonna try it again. Okay, because we need it to not have a jaggedy edge. See how that one kind of had a jaggedy edge on it? it wasn't mine. Nice. We need it to not have a jaggedy edge. Okay. That one's already so, got a cut on it. it is oh. it broken? No. No, it's not. Okay, so take a piece, lay it on the edge, very carefully follow that line, and cut it. Okay? Hopefully it doesn't go into a jaggedy mark like mine yeah. did. So this takes... That's why Practice. We buy, that's why we buy extra, too, you know? important thing to be able to buy extra in case we have a whoopsie doodle. A whoopsie doodle. A whoopsie doodle. <laughs> okay, looks like we're getting there. You're so that very so bad Just me. so you guys know, don't ever feed chocolate to a dog. Oh! There. All right, look at How? that. Now, set both of your pieces on the plate, remove the paper. What we're going to do is um, you have this this piece like this, right? Okay, you're gonna, it needs to break this way, <laughs> okay? So if you need to use your knife to do that, Nina, yeah, that's what it Which needs piece? to do. Which piece? This piece? That one, yeah. All right, so Nina's Sorry, good. Sorry, Joey. <laughs> Gentle, good. Okay, now Joey, what I need you to do now is cut that like that. Okay. All right. So wow, now here's easy. what we have is we have all these it's all these puzzle. little pieces, okay? So what I want you to do is you have a full candy bar there still, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I want you to go ahead and take the knife off the plate. Okay. How many pieces do you have there? Four. We have four pieces. <laughs> we have four pieces. Your challenge is to remove one piece and still make it of the four pieces that you have and still make it look like a full sized candy bar. Huh? Okay? So, <laughs> of those four pieces, huh? you got to take one away. You're going to you're going to move it around. Okay. You got to take one away and see if you can make it still look like a full size candy bar. Good. Okay, we're going to come in close. Nope, that does not work. Here we go. We're coming in close. <gasps> oh, <laughs> my Wow, God. look at that. Okay, can you show us again what you did? So, first, the big piece is over here. Then we have the medium-sized piece. We put it mm -hmm. right here, and it lines up with these two. Then this one has a shorter Okay. Part, and then so we put it way down here. That these two kids are incredibly smart, you guys. And took away wow. the super tiny piece. Wow, they took away the super tiny piece. Wow. Nom nom. Okay, so before we move on, before you get to eat the chocolate, <laughs> I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Um, so, Nina, you're going to have to share your microphone with Joey. Okay, so. <laughs> Did you think that you would be able to take one piece away 
and still make it look like a whole candy bar. No. 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 Um, how do you think that that is similar to or different from the way the disciples felt when Jesus said, here is, here's some fish and here's some bread. Now go feed all 5,000 people. I would Probably. just cut it up into small pieces. Little teeny tiny pieces. Yeah. Little would pieces. that have fed 5,000 people though? Probably I mean, you not. wouldn't be able to eat it. No. But it wouldn't be make you full. But it, but everybody ate and they were full. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool trick to play, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah? So maybe, maybe one day you can try and share a candy bar with somebody and you can still have a little nibble and they'll never even notice it's gone. <laughs> because you took away one little square. Never in the world would I share no. my candy <laughs> <gasps> Thank you very much, Nina and Joy, for your help. <laughs> you get my candy. You say bye. bye. <laughs> so that was fun, wasn't it, you guys? Um, I think Nina and Joey are very much enjoying their chocolate right now. But that's a fun activity that you could do with your family. You could um, just get that little template and a chocolate bar and see how it works out for you, too. Um, the disciples did not think that they had enough money, so that's they, they didn't want to go buy food because it was going to cost them a lot of money to feed all those people, and they didn't make that. They didn't make money. Um, and they also didn't think that there was enough food to feed all 5,000 people. But Jesus did the unexpected by taking what they did have and making it more than enough. So we might not think we have enough to offer either. But when we give Jesus that little bit that we have, he can do unexpected things with it too. It's pretty amazing. So you might not think that, that you have enough, but you really do. It's amazing what God can do with what you have to offer. All right, let's pray, you guys. God, I thank you so much for showing your disciples how they can continue to bless people even when they don't think they can. God, you are amazing and we thank you and we love you. In your son's name we pray, amen. Have a great week, you guys.